Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and today we're painting a really fun uh, abstract landscape, kind of like a lake with the mountains. We're going to make a little bit of a mess, and we're going to have fun doing it. Um, I go everything step by step. There's no need for traceables or anything today. It's just mixing paint, pushing paint around, using a couple of brushes, splattering paint with some alcohol ink, and using a couple different tools. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, also, please don't forget to check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, and um, exclusive content there. Um, you can check it out right here. Boop. Um, it's just a place people can go to support my channel, which I appreciate so much. And if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please do so so you know my tutorial is up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. So let's get painting. All right, guys, we're going to go for supplies. I have a piece of 9 by 12 uh, Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper taped down to a piece of cardboard using scotch tape. I have my 1 inch and my 3 inch craft flat wash brushes. Um, nothing particular, just like a wet media brush. Paper towels, paints, as I, I'll go over them as I use them. They're always in the description box. And water jars that are up here. Lots of water jars. I have like three of them. This is just an exercise in, you know, having fun and playing around and seeing what you come up with. We're just going to move paint around, make a colorful, abstract kind of landscape. So let's just start off by either you can start off by even putting color down or water down. I'm going to do color first. I'm just going to grab some magenta here and some ultramarine blue. Make a nice, pretty blue purple color. More on the blue side. Okay. Gonna get this really wet. Really, really, really wet. Tap on the patel. So I'm gonna just make like a mountain kind of. So you can always choose which we want to have it lower down here or upper down here. I'm gonna choose it kind of up here. So I'm just gonna go across holding it sideways. There's a little too purple, you want to add a little more blue. Let's make like a mountain kind of shape. Doesn't have to be perfect. Give me this bright, bright purple. You see how I just do those little bumps? Just like that. And then we can have some more on the blue end, adding more ultramarine. Kind of going this way, up again. Oops, see, I'm just going up and down, wiggling like that. So you got some mountains there. When that dries, we can do like another layer in the background. You want to make sure this is completely dry before you go and do that because it'll make a mess <laughs> and it won't look right. Meanwhile, for this part going downward, um, we're going to work on some greens, right? So I have my cabin yellow deep here and peacock blue. Peacock blue here. I'll clean up my brush and I'll grab some pretty cabin yellow. It's already making a mess, but that's a medium bright green. I'll add it here. Grab some more of this yellow. Get this really bright, intense yellow, a green. Add a bit, a bit of burnt umber to that just to tone it down a bit. Okay, and then we have this bright. I'm gonna add a little Prussian blue to this, to this green up here, and a little number. So I have two greens going here at the same time. There's a reason for that because we're gonna play around with moving it around, and the yellow. So we grab that bright light green. We're just gonna make a line going sideways, close to the edge, but not all the way hitting it, right? And back and forth, and then a line here. Yep. Grab that darker green, kind of bleed that in here. You can add some of that burnt umber. Really get in there. Just put, moving the paint around, you see? So it's darker. You can actually go in and grab some Prussian blue and put that right in there too. We want this section a little bit darker. Grab 
that bright green. So it's very wet. See how it's a lot of water? More yellow, more brown. Just putting that color in there. And then I'm going to add some of that over in here. See, I'm leaving this white section like it's a lake. You know, you don't have to go by a photograph. I'm just playing around with color and moving paint around. So it could be like a river or a lake, right? Again, putting this color here. Now, if it's a lake, it would just be like one big kind of splotchy area. Make that a little more smooth. And then we can go back in and add some more of this color here. Some green. Like I said, it's going to be like a lake. You can kind of go like that. Say, oh, wait a minute, we have a lake here. Right? And the white part would be the lake. Now, we don't have to finish everything down on the bottom. I'm going to get my brush wet. I'm going to go underneath this area that we just painted here. Oops. See that? It diffuses a little bit. I'm going to grab some yellow paint, mix in with that, add more water, and diffuse it again. Right. A little more yellow. See, it's really kind of just changing it. I'm going to tap it on my paper towel. I'm going to clean off my brush. Just grab some more water and go underneath this again. Right? Just with the water. It's kind of like a nice soft look. And you can kind of lift it up. Now at this point it can bleed down. And if you want to add, I don't know, just take a 3 inch brush and grab some um, Prussian blue, water down, all that green, add some burnt umber to that. And you can just kind of make lines going across and having those bleed down a little bit. Just like that, see? Not everywhere, just a few. I can just grab whatever blue you have. If you don't have Prussian blue, here's some ultramarine I'm going to throw in here. But I'm holding it on the angle like this while it's still damp and just putting in these colors. With that brown. See, with this 3 8 inch brush, it's a little bit smaller. Get that Prussian blue in there. Have that bleed down a little bit. This is how you get this really cool abstract look going in, adding in a darker color here. This one dried a little bit, so I'm going to kind of fill that in. Just go up here. This part's still damp, so you can go in and add really just some nice deep colors. Let's go across a little bit and have it bleed down. Again, I'm going to grab that blue. It's right in there. Got that green. Drawing that part. Look down. See, that's kind of cool, right? When you're tilting it, it's going to get this nice effect to it. Now puddle down here, you can grab your paper towel, kind of just swipe that. I like the how it's just bleeding down like that. Now up here, it dried, which is fine. And for the lake, we can go in there like a nice wash of blue. We could have added the wash of blue in the beginning, but we didn't know if we were going to have a lake or not, right? We could have the river, we could have made some more white areas here. Um, at this point, I'm going to grab my 3 8 inch again. Get some of this yellow, put it over here. Clean up my brush, add a little burnt umber. Let's look at this yellow ochre kind of color. Get this really wet. You can play around with adding in some color right on top of the greens you have here, and the yellows. Don't be afraid to play around with doing this. See? 
it's right on top of the collar you had just like that I add a little more yellow to here now I didn't mention this before but I'm mentioning it now I have like an old credit card you can here at this point I think it's damp but not wet I mean, it's wet, but it's not super wet, and it's kind of damp. You can make these grasses, just like that. Kind of have fun putting some grasses in if you want to do that. You don't have to do that, but it's just kind of fun to play around with it. You can also play around with adding in some, like, splatter textures. Um, I have this acrylic white ink. I would do that, though, when it's a little bit damp. And I would be careful not getting near the lake. You can use gouache too. You can try to play around with gouache. But the alcohol, it's got a little of me. <laughs> I would also stick a piece of paper over the areas that you don't want it kind of splattered. So take a uh, kind of an old crappy brush that you're not going to use much. You know. And then you can just kind of slowly, well, it's still damp. Those areas that are damp, not the ones that are dry. Just tap some nice. Wait, it's gonna change it a little bit. It's gonna not stay completely white like this. Now some areas might because of the, the fact that it's dry, but some parts, you see it starts to have this spider effect. You can always just spray. See how it bleeds out now? Go back and spray again with your spray bottle and then grab some more of this alcohol ink. Again, I didn't spray this part. I want to spray this other part. And again, spray. Woohoo! It's kind of fun. It might be a little messy. It will kind of do this like funky little spread out kind of look. You can also, they have a couple, they have many colors. I have white and I have this brown color. I think the brown would be great. Sprint number. It is messy, but when you do an abstract, sometimes it's messy. <laughs> That's the whole point. So I'm going to add a little brown. Be careful not to get the white part. Just going to tap the right around the green areas try not to get into the white area you might have to put another piece of paper over that section okay now we're gonna have to let that all dry and when it does dry it shouldn't dry super white this one looks a little too white I might just take my paper towel I just want that faded spider look it's kind of fun Again, you can just take the spray bottle and that should bleed it out. And that really shh kind of look. Did notice it get a little dirty up here with <laughs> my paint. It was wet and I moved the paint up here. If you do have an instance like that, I can tell you how to fix that mistake. Put some water on your brush, clean brush, go right over that area real quick real fast grab a paper towel and tap it and boom it's gone it's like a miracle by the way well this is still damp and it looks too white to you you want to put make it yellow go ahead and grab that yellow ochre color just tap it right in the middle of that boop, boop. doesn't have to be the way i did it Play around. See, I'm I am playing with you. Right? Could be the field. You can also just move the paint around like this. If you're not happy with it. Just kind of play around with pushing the paint around. It, the whole point of doing watercolor or painting period is to you know, enjoy, have fun, 
take your troubles away. See, I'm going back over the white areas that I wasn't too fond of. Just giving you some ideas to do that, you know, you maybe didn't think of. I'll go back over here with green. Voila. When you feel satisfied, just let it dry. And then we'll work on the, the lake part and the mountains again and some sky. Oh, and by the way, you don't even have to do the sky if you don't want to. <laughs> it's up, you know, it's all up to you guys. You can add some trees up over in here. So I'm just going to take a clean water on this brush. And I'm going to swipe some water over this area. As you can see, not the whole thing. If you want to do the whole thing, you can do the whole thing. I'm just going to go, I'm going to leave a section white in here. And then go over here. And I'm going to grab some ultramarine. Mix with a little of that black. I'm just going to put some sky in. You can get it even deeper and darker if you want to. I want to keep it kind of bright. Very wet, you see here. Add some more blue. A little more gray on the bottom there. So, clean up my brush. Gonna move this pan around here. Clean up my brush. <laughs> move it around here. You see? While this is still damp on this section, you could add some nice green trees. I'm just gonna take the corner of this brush and bleed in some trees just by tapping the paint there because it's wet. It should bleed. You can turn this, pa this paper upside down. Oops. I have it bleed like this. i add some more pigment. I'm adding in some Prussian blue. A little burnt umber to make the trees. Grab some of that yellow, have it bleed down to make the trees. Turn it back and see if you like it. So you got these funky trees right there, which is great. Go back and add some more. Now I might not have put some clear water here, so I can just spray it. Puddling down here, I'm just gonna take your paper towel, go like that. Gonna grab some of that dark green again. Go back in here. Put that dark green. I'm using a lot of paint. Some brown in here and fresh and blue. And mine kind of went out of control a little bit. We could just kind of tap the paper towel with that. See? Not too bad, right? <laughs> I'll keep the other side uh, free of the craziness. I got a piece of the pigment here on my paper. So the other side, I can take some water and just kind of move this paint around too. Don't want to play around too much. And I have some paint missing up here that I want to add. I want to keep it fairly kind of dark on this side. Kind of push this around a little more. And I might remove some of it with paper towel. See, make that texture. It's all about having fun, guys. Removing excess paint that I don't want. So it looks a little wild, right? 
this little splotch over here is not doing what I want it to do. So I'll just kind of moon over the paint. Kind of play around with that. Okay. So when this is dry, we're going to put in some grasses. And see, I got a little too much paint here, and it kind of killed my little mountain. <laughs> I killed my own mountain. You can go back and fix that. Just go add some paint back in here. I just make that mountain a little bit darker. That's all. Not a big deal. All right, so we're going to let this dry again, and then I'm going to throw in some grasses. Oh, before I forget, um, while this is still damp, this is pretty wet though, if you get it when it's still damp, you can still just swipe up and make the tree. But if you get it when it's not quite dry yet, you can't do that. This is still very wet. We have to wait till it's more damp like this one. And make those tree. And then when the paint goes in itself, it makes this goes right into this, the crevices that you scraped, which is great also. You can keep going back up in here and make the tree branches. You see that? This is still a little too wet. So we can dry, just wait till it dries a little bit more and then we can go in and scrape away at the trees. Okay, so it's damp, almost dry. Again, scrape. That was a nice, good one. Take off the paint. Okay. It's a credit card. These are fun to do. And you've got your tree. Kind of fun. I'll put another one back here. Got your tree. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to work on some grasses. For this part, I'm just going to grab my number four Princeton Velvet Touch series. Look at all this brown and this green. Just kind of mix them up a little bit together. And just take your brush and just make these little swipe grasses. Kind of on the edge. You want to grab a little black too, you know, things like that. Not too dark, but dark enough just on the edge of where the water is. Kind of going this way. Make some little skinny ones. I wouldn't do a million of them. I'll do some more over here. Again, a little more black. little ones back here it's in that front like I had scraped the ones here and I didn't like the way they look so I'm just gonna go back in here with the greens and a little black you don't want it everywhere you know this looks like a little mush here so I have to go back out here a little skinny. Just like that. You want to go like this way and that way. Yeah, I'm standing up so I can make sure I like the way it looks. And same thing here. I want it really dark. We could put some little teeny ones back here. So I need a skinny small brush. Not too much though. You can also take the black brown and go in here and just finish off some of the branches. Maybe with more green if you don't want the brown. Just the little teeny branches. I 
has a really cool look to it. That's kind of it, guys. Just a fun little... You know, I'm thinking this part might be a little too one note. Might want it a little touch darker on the bottom. So I'll grab my 3 8 inch and my blue, purple. And I'll go back in here. Put like another one and another one back in here. Just so it stands out from the actual lake part. A little bit darker still. You have to assess, you know, what looks good for you. Always stand up and look back and see if you like what you see. Yeah. This part may be just a little bit darker. And now it looks more like it makes sense, you know? Get a little bit darker again. Let's go right across. <laughs> this is very therapeutic. Yeah, and there you go. So that's our little lake painting. I'm going to remove our tape and see how it looks. Oh, not good there. I got a splatter of paint because I didn't clean off my paint on the side of my tape. Really just grab your paper towel as fast as you can. And voila. You could add little flowers, but I kind of like the little white spots. And that's pretty much it. You know, and if you want to add a little more blue in here, play around with that. If you want to take your small... um. Number four, grab some like yellow ochre here, color that we mixed, a little white gouache, and put in a little some little white brown, light brown, white leads. Again, play around with adding color, taking away color. You know, like I said, a little white. Wee, wee, wee. Just on these grasses over here, you can't really see them that well, so I'll take some white gouache. You can mix white gouache with your watercolor. See how I'm doing this? And then you can just go right over here. Add that highlight next to those little grasses so they stand out. See that? And now you can see them more. I mean, I don't know why you can't see it in the video, but you can see it up close. Let's see? Just play around with it, guys. There. Play around with adding some grasses that have the white highlights to them. You don't have to do that, but it's just another thing you can add. Well, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed the lake. <laughs> you know, grab a seat and sit a while. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, yeah, and don't forget to hit the bell notification button. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And check out my Patreon. I have exclusive tutorials and traceables, ad-free videos, and soon I'll be having live streams on there. So thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.